Hey, welcome back to the channel. If last week wasn't enough with all the crazy announcements, ChatGPT4, Midjourney version 5, Microsoft Copilot, we are starting off this week with a lot of amazing news. This is stemming from the NVIDIA conference that kicked off yesterday. We're probably going to continue to see a lot of interesting developments in this space. And one of the things that they announced was their continued partnership with Adobe. Adobe is launching Firefly. I got an email notification yesterday in inviting me to join the beta, and I went ahead and signed up for that, so hoping to get access soon. But this is gonna offer a full suite of text-to-image options, along with some other really cool features that I wanted to go over. We're also gonna cover some exciting other developments in the AI space, so be sure to stick around for the full video. Let's go ahead and watch their text-to-image video now. So you can see this is a diffusion model, like Stable Diffusion or Mid Journey, and it allows you to generate text-to-image. I love the fact that they give you some really Really good quality art and then here on the right hand side you can adjust the aspect ratio the content type the styling instead of having to really engineer a very specific prompt I think that this is what it's going to look like in the future so you can add these little tags and then hit generate and it completely redefines the image according to your tags or your specifications so I think that this is going to be the future this will probably replace the need for prompt engineering so you can see how quickly this is moving. One of the next features I wanted to cover with Adobe Firefly is the text effects. Artificial intelligence is notorious for having difficulty when it comes to generating accurate text, and it allows you to apply styles and textures to text with a text prompt. Here in this example, they have the word yum, and it looks like we're making it out of some sort of confection treat, right? And you can change that style approach once again, whether it's a sample effect, text effect, you can change the font. So this is going to really change the game when it comes to text creation with artificial intelligence. And you can see, once again, this stuff is really evolving quickly. These are some of the other features that they're going to be rolling out. So you have in painting where you can remove or add, replace objects within an image, personalized results, text vector, extended image, 3D to image, so you can bring your own 3D content. If you wanna get access to this, I would say first you wanna join the Discord if you haven't already, and then you're gonna to wanna to request access. There's a simple request form that you do need to fill out, and you wanna be sure to do this so that you're not waiting around uh, to get access once this drops. Now there's been a ton of controversy swirling around the text to image world when it comes to artists. And I think that Adobe may have kind of figured this out. As of right now, Adobe Firefly will not be available for commercial use. And you can see that in their FAQ section. The content that is generated can only be used for private application. This can be non-commercial use cases while they're in beta. That might change, but as of right now, they've outlined this pretty clearly. And when it comes to the training data, Data, how these fusion models are actually trained. Firefly was trained on Adobe stock images. So they openly license content and public domain content where copyright has expired. So you don't have to worry about copyright anymore, it looks like with this. And we know that the images were trained on Adobe stock images. So this is a really cool development. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I also signed up for BARD, and BARD is Google's version of ChatGPT. This was developed two years ago, and it is a large language model, but it's a little bit different than ChatGPT. So that you may remember of hearing about Lambda. There was a Google engineer that claim that Lambda was sentient, and it went somewhat viral in the news. But Lambda stands for Language Model for Dialogue Applications. And on Google's website, you can see that it says, Bard seeks to combine the breadth of the world's knowledge with the power, intelligence, and creativity of a large language model. It draws on information from the web to provide fresh, high quality responses. Okay, and last but not least, we have the NVIDIA Developer Conference that's happening March 20th through the 23rd. And there you have it, folks. There's some of the latest news coming out of the AI world. I really enjoy making videos about this topic. And if you found any of this information helpful or entertaining, it would be really great if you could help support the channel by subscribing or if you're just interested in learning some more, go ahead and watch that next video in the bottom right-hand corner. And until next time, I hope you have a successful and positive day.